Welcome to this tutorial on hydrological modeling using SWOT+. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how we can set up a model using SWOT+, and calibrate it. I'm going to demonstrate how you can install SWOT+, software, and together we are going to set up and run a model in SWOT+, and we are going to go through the calibration and evaluation, and finally we are going to apply a climate change scenario. First, what is SWAT plus? Well, SWAT plus comes from SWAT. SWAT is a time continuous semi distributed hydrological model, and SWAT plus is a completely restructured version of SWAT, and it is usually applied at catchment scale to simulate surface water and groundwater quality and quantity. SWAT plus is used in different studies across the world to predict the environmental impact of land use, land use management practices, and climate change. While SWAT Plus uses similar equations to SWAT in estimating surface runoff, infiltration, evapotranspiration, plant growth, routing, etc., it offers more flexibility to users in configuring the model. The newly introduced decision tables allow the user to specify conditions for various management activities within the model. And then there is connection files which improve flexibility in connecting different elements in the model. SWAT Plus also introduces a new level of discretization, landscape units, which allows separation of upland processes from wetlands. If you want to find more about SWAT Plus, you can visit the SWAT Plus website. And if you have any problems using SWAT, you can get help from one of the Google groups of SWAT Plus, which you can freely join. To begin with, let's talk about how we can install SWAT Plus software. You have to make a total of three software installations to get started with modeling. You have to install QGIS, you have to install SWAT Plus tools, Microsoft MPI, and finally you have to activate the SWAT Plus plugin. Let's first of all install QGIS. You have to visit the QGIS website and download a 64-bit version of QGIS. Here we have two versions, the long-term release and the latest one. This latest one is rich in features but can be unstable. The long-term release might be lagging in new features but it's the most stable. We are going to pick the long-term release. Save the file. and wait until download is complete. Once download is complete, you can install by double-clicking the downloaded file. Follow the instructions to install and install in the destination that comes by default. This will take a long time, so I'm going to speed up the video. Okay, so our installation has finished, so we choose to install QGIS 3.4. Know that the other QGIS, QGIS 3.8, works with SWAT. Next, we install SWAT Plus Tools. This is a package of SWAT Editor, the databases, and also QSWAT Plus. Click on it. Now we land on this page where we find the download SWAT Plus installer 1.2.1. Click on download, save. Once it is finished, you can visit where it is saved 
to extract it or you can just open the file if you click on the file double click it will extract on its own and then start the installation process there you go run yes you may want to click on global weather data generator for sort plus this is a big download so it will take some time to download but it will help you in case you don't have weather generator data for your area you only have precipitation temperature or any other records click next click install and wait for the download to complete and the installation to begin Now the installation has started. Here you install QSWAT Plus. You can install it for you only or for all users. If you choose to install it for all users, you have to be an administrator on your system. I'm going to install it only for me. Click install. finish next you will install the SWOT editor and we are done I'm going to close this now and close this finally we have to install Microsoft MPI this helps in speeding up processing of large raster files Click here to download. It will take you to another page where you can download Microsoft MPI. So, download. Check the one on the bottom. This one is for software development. And save. In this case, I already have Microsoft MPI installed on my system. Once it has finished, you can click on open file in order to install. Next, we have to activate the QSWAT Plus plugin. That means we first of all have to open QGIS. So, open QGIS. After QGIS opens, you can now activate the QSWAT Plus plugin. To do so, go to Plugins, click on Manage and Install Plugins, and then search for SWAT. To activate it, click the checkbox on the left of the QSWAT Plus. Close. After doing that, you will see an icon appear in one of the toolbars. We click on it, you can now see the QSWAT Plus interface. This allows you to create and open existing projects. You might also want to check some of the QSWAT Plus parameters. If you want to speed up processing of DEMs, then you have to make sure that you are using the MPI. Also, make sure that the directory where the Microsoft MPI is installed is correct. You can change other of the parameters. We're going to keep them like that. Save. In the next tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a new project and how you can delineate the watershed and also create HRUs.